Hey everyone, so today we are going to do a makeup tutorial with a very orangey matte uh, half cut crease using the Morphe 35OM palette. We're going to start off with our base, so let's go ahead and get started. So for primer today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Prime Blur Plus Smooth in shade 100 to prime my face. I'm going to apply this all over and massage it with my fingers. For foundation today, I'm going to do my usual mixture, my favorite mixture, of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless. Uh, Normal to Oily Skin Foundation in shade 110 Porcelain and the L'Oreal True Match Foundation in shade C1 Alabaster. Also today I'm going to mix those with a little bit of this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator in 200 Light Pink. Just for an extra little bit of glow. I just want to show you what this looks like before I mix it in. I'm going to apply this to my face with the e.l.f. Professional Flat Foundation Brush. Cream Concealer in shade White Out and the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in shade CW01. with the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and the Jolie Setting Brush. I'm setting the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in shade 05 Fair and the Urban Decay Large Taper Powder Brush. I'm going to use the same brush with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Pressed Powder in shade 001 Transparent. I'm just going to do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back to start the eye makeup. So I'm back with my eyebrows on and I've already primed my eyes, I just haven't set it yet. And I don't need to tell you what I primed with because if you've watched my other videos you already know. What I used to apply it was this Joe Fresh Concealer Brush. Now I'm going to start with setting it in place using the 35OM eyeshadow palette by Morphe. I'm going to take this shade that's barely living, <laughs> but it's still there, and the Urban Decay Large Blending Brush to set this primer in place. and the shade right in here. I'm, I'm just going to buff this into and just slightly above the crease on both eyes. I'm going 
to take the shade right here and I'm gonna do the same thing. two shades right here so this one and this one and I'm just going to put this into the crease with this and blow it out just a little lower than that those two shades there to intensify it a little bit more than that. So I'm going back in with that smoky brush by Urban Decay and going with the other colors just to smooth it out. shader brush and I'm gonna use all these shades same process underneath and touching it up to here Concealer with that same face 
shade I used to set the primer at the beginning and the same brush. And now I'm going to repeat this on the other eye. Taking that same Urban Decay Tapered Blending Brush, I'm going to take the light orange shade and then the darker red and then the darkest red on the outer corner here. I'm going to blend them this way. to apply this with the Jolie Flat Contour Brush. in shade Pearlescent Pink and apply it with the e.l.f. blush brush. For my highlight today, I'm going to start out with the Benefit What's Up Cream Highlighter and I'm going to apply this with the small dual contour brush to my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. use the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Highlighter in Rosy Glow and apply it with the Urban Decay Diffusing Highlighter Brush to the same areas and then to my inner corners of my brow bones with the Urban Decay Detailed Smudger Brush. Jean Michael Bisque face palette, taking the highlighter shade called Now's the Time, applying it with the e.l.f. tapered brush, and then the same small detailed smudger brush by Urban Decay to my inner corners of brow bones, and then after that the same brushes, the same areas with the Kat Von D Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter Palette with the shade Helix. with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. For eyeliner today, I'm going to use the Still Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Felt Tip Liner in shade Intense Black. Do some winged eyeliner. Today, I'm going to use the MAC 
to curl lash in black. Apply this to my upper and lower lashes. I'm just gonna throw some lashes on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my lashes on. These are our Dow lashes. I don't remember exactly what they are, but I'll put them in the description box below. So if you want to know, go check it out. Um, but yeah. So for my waterline, I'm just going to apply this NYX Wonder Pencil in the lettuce shade. Just to brighten up the eyes a little bit more. This is mascara I used earlier, just on my lower lash line. Cream Sheen Lipstick in shade Peach Blossom. And on top of our gloss, I'm going to use the Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss in shade Nude Candy. completed look right here I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please give me a big thumbs up down below comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and I hope to see you next time guys bye